Hi, welcome back to my channel, Fix and Repair. Today I'm working on my Power King tractor, and I've been doing some upgrades of this thing here and there. Just didn't get a chance to do any real serious videos, so now I'm going to do a video which covers quite a few things I did to this tractor so far and what I have to do in the near future. So without further ado, I will tell you about the uh, projects that I accomplished so far. All right, now the first thing, remember I had the uh, light underneath the hood here? Well, that didn't work out too well. The uh, LED burned out, and I happened to be at Harbor Freight, of course, my favorite store, and they had this. They had one of those license plate lights, number, let's get it in focus here, 59655. Okay, Kenway. And I decided that that would be a lot better to put that on the dash. It looks like it belongs. It looks like it came off a, a tractor from the 1950s or 60s with that nice chrome and the shape of it. Really pretty looking. And turn it on here. There it is. Doesn't that look nice? And now when I'm using the tractor at night, I have a nice light. Of course, my cat has to get in the way just when I'm doing the video. I'll shut that off. Come on. There you go. Okay, next thing I'd like to talk about on this, I had problems with the charging system. I went through two batteries, and my buddy came out with his multimeter, and we tested the tractor, and we were hoping that it was the rectifier that was bad. We tested that, and that was okay. And we traced it back, and we believe it's the stator underneath the uh, flywheel cover here. So I've been online and I've been taking a look at what I can do to upgrade this system from the uh, points system to HEI. The problem with this engine is that it uses the point system to get the timing for the spark. I came up with the idea and I started making the bracket for it. I was going to put on a uh, alternator, Chevy alternator on it. You can see I started making the bracket. I even went out and purchased a bracket off of eBay. It was cheap, 20 bucks, to hold that uh, alternator on there. I still might use it because if I go the other route, I don't know once I add all these lights to the tractor if the alternator will be able to handle it. I still might retain that. But anyway, <clears throat> they make a product. There's two different types. And it would be set up like a Briggs & Stratton. And I'd have to uh, take the cover off and add some parts to it. And then I can get rid of the condenser and the coil and the rectifier. And it should work pretty well. It costs about 200 bucks, And I think it'd be worth doing. So that's what I'm thinking about. There's another system I saw online. And it was about 80 bucks, But one person complained about it. He could never get to work right. I think I'll just go all the way and get the, the the nicer one of the two next i'd like to talk about the, the fuel pump the one i had on this tractor was plastic i didn't realize that and when i took it off of there and i went the top part's missing but i went to go tighten the uh elbows in here the 90 degree elbows for my fuel lines I cracked the plastic so that made made my day that much more troublesome but what I found out my other tractor had the zinc based fuel pump on it and that one was leaking along the side so this one I tore apart and I took this this gasket part out of it, and I stuck, well, this is the bad one, but I stuck the good gasket into the to, to the zinc housing of the other one, and that's and that way I was able to fix the fuel pump also on the other tractor. This one, I decided to go a different route, and I took a Briggs & Stratton fuel pump, and I mount it on there, which runs off a vacuum. So I'll go to the other side, and I'll show you how I did that.
need a flashlight for this. There we go. Kneel down here. Uh, let's see. Let's get the light over top of it. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So back there is a plate. To the, uh, it was a cover to the engine, and I made my own plate, and I drilled a hole in it, and I tapped it to take a uh, 90 degree elbow that would fit that fuel line. I don't know exactly what size it, it is, but you can figure it out. And then I ran the hose to the uh, vacuum side to whichever one was on here for the vacuum. And then the other one, with this top one that's empty here, right up, where is it? This one right there, that one goes to the gas tank. And then whatever was left would go to the carburetor. And the bracket I used came off a Briggs & Stratton engine, I think a five horse. I just bent something to make it fit. And this works really well. The one thing I would say is they make different types of these fuel pumps. And I just decided to go with one like this, but I didn't go with plastic. I went with a zinc one or aluminum one. I heard they, they're, a little bit, they're made a little bit better. And they also make some for snowmobiles and stuff like that. And they're different shapes, etc. But I would not go with a plastic one. I'd go with a metal one. It was only 20 bucks. The difference in price isn't that much, and I think it's better quality. So it turned out really nice. Another thing I'd like to show that I did with the uh, tractor, I put a different muffler on it. This muffler I got off of Amazon, and it was a uh, muffler off of Cub Cadet, I believe. And I routed the piping, and I came down, I came alongside the hog's head down there. And I came almost just above the frame, and I came back up and around like this. And they made a bracket that attaches to the frame, and it holds it so it shoots the exhaust out the front of the tractor. And then I bought one of these little guards here, made for a motorcycle off of eBay, put it on there. Protect me a little bit if I bump against it so I won't get burned. The reason I did that is because I thought that way I have complete access to those pulleys on that side. If I ever could figure out how to mount something on this side, maybe the uh, power steering pump that I want to put on there eventually, that I have clear cut space because that runs right alongside there now. So I have enough clearance I could get, get a belt on those pulleys. I don't know about this. I think if I would mount something over here, I'd probably have to take this hydraulic tank and move it back underneath the ammo box. I can slide it back. I can show you on the hydraulic tank then. I made a bracket to hold the, the ammo box. I plumbed it with some nice brass fittings. I put a shutoff valve here, and there's my drain down there. I have a nice angle on it. And I put a plug down there so I can uh, check it to see if there's any aluminum, or not aluminum, see if there's any metal metal uh, pieces in the tank or whatever, and I can drain it, get the crud out of it. And I made my own dipstick for it. The cat just loves to be in the way when I'm doing a video. I made my own dipstick here. I don't know what it came off of, but I just cut it off and made a mark on it where the full is. I don't know if you can see it, a little out of focus, but it's there. It's up in here, actually, towards the top. I don't have it full enough yet. That's okay. And I painted my breather, put a breather on the top. Come over here, and I'll show you the last thing, I think, here, right up here. I painted this, I made this bracket here, and I painted it, and that's going to span across this opening, and then my gas tank will go back over here. So when I decide to work on this engine, hopefully they don't have to take the engine out, but even if I do have to take it out, this is just going to be held with 
two bolts, one on each side there. And I have this bracket to hold the box, which holds the tank right there. It'll be easier to work on this tractor. And that's about it. I'm going to put a voltmeter gauge here. I had an amp meter gauge, and I was trying to see what was wrong with this tractor for charging. And it was so erratic with that stator, it burned out my amp gauge. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section. I'm not an expert on these tractors. I don't pretend to be. But it's kind of fun learning how to work on them. I can say about one of the other projects I'm going to do in the near future here, I'm going to cut that rest of that tunnel down, and I'm going to take some brackets you get from Harbor Freight for ATV winches. I love those things. I use them on everything. And I'm going to make it so I can take that cover off of there to access that transmission if I need to. So I think that'll be a nice addition. Maybe eventually I'll put power steering in. I don't know. And I think I'm going to change the uh, clutch mechanism on this tractor too. But just one thing at a time. All right. Thanks for all the new subscribers. And please spread the uh, channel around. I appreciate it. Thank you.